Hey guys, welcome to a Cascade Gaming Path of Exile video. You know the rules by now. No guides, no walkthroughs, no wikis, no instructions aside from that which is given by the community, which is you. I hope you enjoy some of the gameplay from Act 3 that I completed very recently. So we've wandered into the Act 3 town. Um, everyone is like really super overly invested in this girl Clarissa's love life so we've got to go find her boyfriend um so we're gonna take the waypoint back to the start of the city of San and yeah we're just gonna go from here and find the crematorium oh there's beasts okay so for anyone who hasn't yeah uh for anyone who hasn't been been watching um this is Einar he's my friend we go and go on quests and find beasts together. So I'm using things like Holy Flame Totem. Um, I've got Skitterbots who are named Merry and Pippin. Holy crap! This dude hits hard. Oh, I died. Of course, of course, I died. Of course, I immediately die. All right, I was not prepared for that. I need to be prepared. Um, so I'll summon my Skitterbots. So we've got two Skitterbots. Um, their names are Merry and Pippin. We did name them um, from the from Lord of the Rings. So blah blah blah. I'm just so it's apparently very important to read the ge the gems. So your gems give you spells in this game, which is really cool. Um, so yeah, so we're reading what's going on. <laughs> um, all right. Okay, using skitterbots. So what I'm going to be trying to do is cast this flame wall, right? Um, and then cast holy flame totem, and then I'm using incinerate and casting it through the flame wall. So should be interesting. Um, I've got like Herald of Ash. I should probably use that. That'll be important while dealing with this guy who's uh, a little bit tougher. Than, than what we've previously expected oh my god i'm just i'm not i'm not pressing the right buttons today so i've been told that i should be moving a lot more hey we got him down what is are there two Oh no, he just didn't didn't take him out. Okay, so you see all the loot. This is the loot filter. So we're basically only taking items that are like yellow quality or higher. So I was really I was really excited to see Einar here because yeah, we've had we've had quite a few quests together and it's been really fun. He basically just captures beasts for you for for a little menagerie. So you basically have your own private zoo. Which is sick. Is my inventory full up already? That cannot be the case. See, this is why we don't pick everything up. Because your inventory fills up really quickly. Oh my god, everything is huge. Let's maybe just... Um, that probably did nothing. Sept is going to take up more space. Yes, it is. Alright, we're going to have to town portal it. I did not think we would have to town portal so soon, but let's let's junk this stuff. Um, oh, okay. So you've got this really amazing stash. Um, I don't think my I don't think my video is locked, so I can show you. Yeah, we've got this really amazing stash. That is not the. Uh, this is this is the one with all of my fancy stuff in it. So anyway, um, yeah. So I'm just gonna. Throw, I'm um, just going to see if it's worth throwing. I might throw the staff in there. Um, that's it. I'll throw the staff in there. I'll sell the, sell the other ones. So you can control click and sell them. They give you like items back for it. So the... Yes, we have a scepter. So I'm using scepters at the moment. So that uh, that makes me happy seeing the scepter. Okay. 
so yeah, they give you things like these transmutation shards and orbs of transmutation and bits and pieces of everything. Skulls of wisdom. Ooh. Let's have a look at this. Increased attack speed. Well, that's interesting. That's, I don't know if it's as, I don't think it's as good as what we've got. I might just hold on to it though. Anyway, so yeah, this is uh, this is fun. That time dying is literally the first time I've, I've died in so long. Because I'm like, I'm just, I'm obnoxiously over leveled. But that guy was, that guy was really rough. Ha, ah, scroll of wisdom. See, there we go. We're ca casting the spells through the flame wall. Through the flame wall! Oh, okay. So he's done. Alright, sweet. Catch you later, Ina. Alright, so now we've got to find this crematorium where Tolman is because no one will give me quests in the city until I save this kid. Oh, let's go get the strong box. Strong box time. So yeah, it like summons all these enemies when you when you um get it. Oh, is that it? Boo, they sucked. Oh, there's dudes up the top. Oh no, we're gonna go and find them. It's like, can you not? All right. Okay, that, I I thought for a second that that was a prize, but that wasn't a prize. Cool. Uh, so we've come across a couple of um, orange items, which are like the rare items in this game, which is amazing. Um, I'm wearing one of them, which is which is uh, shoes, and the other one is is a bow that I have that I can't use because I'm not an archer, but I'll keep it because. You know, maybe I will, maybe I'll make some kind of archer class as my next character. So I'd like to get to max level um, with this character in this game. <laughs> yeah, well, it's, um, yeah, I'd like to get to max level with this character, but I don't know if that's ever going to be possible. Um, but yeah, everyone hates you in this game, by the way, when you, when you start and go anywhere, it's like, oh, you're evil, and it's like, I don't even know my backstory, I don't know if I can judge if I'm evil or not. I keep getting told that, that my, the class that I picked is like the most evil class, and it's like, well, I don't understand why. It's like, if I do good things, then theoretically, my character should be good. Doesn't work like that. All right. So let's go through. So we've got to find this crematorium. Um, cause yeah, everyone's everyone's over overly obsessed with this girl's love life, and they're like, no one's no one will give you quests if you don't help out this kid. So the crematorium must be through the encampment. Alright, we've got the mini-map. Let's maybe just go here. So, people recommend that you play with this with the mini-map on. Which is cool. Is the mother of life. We have turned our backs on her. Hmm, yes, cool. Interesting. So, shield. Uh, I thought that said potion for a second, and I was going to go, oh, crap, I should have picked that up, but no, it's not potion. Alright, so we'll go to the encampment, and I think we just go straight through... The, like there must be a, a place to go straight through. I tried to log on to D4 this um like just now, but um it was like I just I couldn't get I couldn't log on. I was like oh there's like a million people trying to log on to D4 and I'm like oh really. All right, so that's the slums. Uh, hang on. Uh, 
what's great in you in the crematorium okay so I'm wondering if the crematorium is up there in in the slums All right. Uh, put that and those into my inventory. Uh, I don't know if anyone will even buy this stuff from us. Let's just throw all that in there. Okay, let's head to the slums. So we've also got a, three labyrinth trials in this area. So in the first area we did one. In the second area you do you do two. And then in this third area, you do three. And then, I don't know, there's like bountiful rewards and whatnot. Sun Arena. That's different. All right. I've made I've made an executive decision. We're going this way. To the slums. So, it's interesting. I'm, I'm hoping that the crematorium is here. It seems like the kind of place a crematorium would be. But I have no idea. Alright, so monster levels are 24 here. Ooh, sewer grating. Can, does that mean we go down into the sewers? It's locked, okay. Oh. Here we go. Ooh. Ooh, what are you? Well, it's... It's some sort of carrion beast, so that sounds like, and there's lots of undead things, so this really seems like a crematorium kind of area. Beach Eyes. See, the enemy names in this game are really amazing. I love the enemy names in this game. Giant Mana Flask, we'll take that. Oh, there's a big monster over here. What are you called? Amber Delta the Devourer. Sick name. Oh. Okay, I need to keep an eye out for that. That scepter could be better than what I have. Oh, and here's Johan. You can tell because the door just pops open and all of a sudden... There's a little thumping on the on the desk. He's been he's been in a ha ah, level thirty now. Nice. Um, yeah, Johan's been in a real mood this morning. He's bit me like five times. And like he's refusing to tell me why he's biting me as well. So, you know, it's like Cat, what are you doing? Why are you biting me? I know why he why he's biting me, because I wouldn't give him second breakfast. I swear he is a hobbit. Are you a hobbit, buddy? He said yes. Um, yeah, so tried to log on to D4 this morning, couldn't log on. So, we're playing PoE for, like, we'll, we'll play for a couple of hours, um, and then we'll swap over to, to D4. I wonder if Aina comes around, will come around here to hang out. It doesn't, it doesn't seem like his kind of place, to be honest. Perpetus, he does not like fire. Glorious. I need to know if this crematorium is around here somewhere. And I've been in. Aha! Here it is! Here it is! Let's go and rescue Tolman. Okay, so it's a bit of a. a bit of a dungeon. Oh, we can level up as level up as well. Um, where were we going with our leveling up? We were heading over here, weren't we? Oh no, we were finishing doing our fire. There we go. So we're applying points there, and then we're going over here. 
All right. Oh, there's a labyrinth trial in here. Oh, fire elementals. That's cool. So we're gonna have to do we're gonna have to do some exploration to find our our labyrinth trial. Excellent. Oh. I don't think I'm gonna have a good time if uh, if this lag continues. Volcanic fissure. That's like the second time I've picked that gem up in the wild. All right, let's go. Oh, oh my, okay. Jeez, there's, there are these fire elementals everywhere. Blacksmith's whetstone, very nice, I will take that. Ooh, hate beat. Solid name, solid name, buddy. Solid name, dodgy rewards. Um, yeah, so it's taking me a long time to actually get used to the idea of using all of my potions all the time. Because I've always come from games where it's like, you know, it can serve you potions, um, like, hold on to them. They're, like, a really limited resource to this game where it's, like, you know, you have to use your potions in order to recharge your potions because they're not a finite resource. Because you get more recharges on kill. See, so look at all the things that I'm learning. Um, all right, I want to go down to the labyrinth. I can see it. I can see it on the map. I can see it on the map, it's driving me insane. Ooh, enraged cinder elementals. Did I just shoot my skitterbots off? I think I did. Whoops. Oh, come on, come on, just let me go to the labyrinth. Let me go to the labyrinth. It's like, I don't, I don't even care about this kid that's, that's being, being holed up in the crematorium. <laughs> Why? It's pretty cool that everything's fire here, though. I feel like I'm hanging out with, like, friends. Can we open this door? Oh, is that just my lag that wasn't letting me open that door? Oh, there are more things, there are more things. Ah, oh, we gotta get kill the necromancer. That's the... That's the best option. Kill the necromancer, then chase down the ads. Trial of Ascendancy. Let's go. All right, I'm seeing burning. Uh, Harold. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Right. I see. So things, the ground goes on fire and we've got to get down and do things before the ground burns us. That is easy enough. Am I scared what's up? No, oh, they are now. All right, so we've got a lever over here. All right, now I've just got to wait for a minute until the ground stops being hot. Learning. So much learning. All right. Now we can go up here. Looks like this ground might get a little bit hot. Oh, yeah, we just... Oh, we snuck up there, but it's, uh, it's locked. So we've got to go... Well, we've got to go around. There we go. Lava. Let's head in. Let's head in. Allow your wisdom what? Tempered by the flames of the past. We now have four trials of wisdom done. 
I can take a portal back to the start. I might do that. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Three labyrinth trials down. All right, now we need to find Tolman. The boyfriend. So that everyone in this in this creepy little town that's unhealthily obsessed with this poor girl's love life can um, calm the frick down and welcome me to their town like they should have done when I first arrived. All right, here we go. There she is, my work in <gasps> Piety! Ah! It's Piety! Quick, press the buttons, press all the buttons, kill all the guys. Oh my, things are... Oh, we've... we're we actually fighting her! Holy shitballs, okay. Suck one... Suck it, piety. Oh, she disappeared! Take a deep breath, Cass. Ah, uh, he's like super dead. Hey, we've got a crafting recipe. Ah, oh, but he's super dead. That's unfortunate. Um, sucks to sucks to be that girl. Look at look at all of the sympathy I have. Um, all right, let's increase spell damage, increase lightning damage. We don't need increased lightning damage because we don't do lightning damage. This one's all about minions doing extra stuff. Um, okay. We're kind of pretty sure. Very nice. Tom's bracelet. Hammered buckler. Let's let's see what that is. Uh, I can't use it because it needs extra ducks. Cool. Okay. Let's portal back to town. So we've done... Okay. So we've done so far. We've done an INR quest, which is awesome. We've done... A piety quest, which is also, um, it's not just piety, it's, use, use your words, not just piety, it's also, no, my brain's gone, I can't remember, um, yeah, so we've got, so it's piety and, oh my gosh, my my brain is not working today. It does not want me to be able to say the words. Cass, can you say some words? No, sorry, not right now. Um, yeah, P Piety and Tolman. So. Oh, let's identify that. Yeah, no, that's cruddy, okay. So let's talk to Clarissa first and hand in her quest. Poor Tolman. All right. I made this bracelet for him when he first arrived here. That's cute. Idiot said he'd never take it off. I called him a liar. He didn't though. Just goes to show you should be you should always be nice to people around you. I need to give you something. I asked a lot of you out there in the slums more than I should have. Yeah, I don't care. Sewer keys! I'll take that. Be careful. Well, I hope you had a lot of fun with that gameplay from Act 3. I'm not going to tell you guys exactly how far I got, but I think you'll be really impressed by the time I finished editing down everything that I did on this stream. Anyway, I hope you guys will tune in for some more, and I love you guys heaps, and I'll catch you again really soon. Bye for now.